Hello, today we're gonna take a look at how to share data between components in React using Mobex. And before we get started, I have created a Patreon page for this uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to support the channel, uh, become a patron. So I can keep uh, producing more programming tutorials if you want to see more. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is, uh, and by the way, I created, I have already created a React project using the create React app command. like that so go ahead and create a new react project then we're gonna install mobx uh, from npm so let's type npm install mobx and let's hit save Let's also type npm install mobx react and save mobx react is going to provide us the observer utility from mobx and let's just hit npm start to start the application And there we go, we get it running. I have just cleared out everything here in the Create React App Project uh, boilerplate, as you can see. So go ahead and clear everything out. So you just get uh, this empty div here. And let's get started. The first we, thing we can do is create a new folder. Let's name it uh, stores. And another folder, let's name it components. And we can keep these folders in the source folder of the application. In the stores, go ahead and create a new file. We can save this as data storage.js. And let's start by importing uh, extend observable uh, from Mobex, which is what we're gonna use to create the observable arrays. And this, then create a new class. We can name it uh, data storage, just as we name the file. And in the constructor of the file or of the class, we're gonna use the extend observable, like that. Now, the extend observable from Mobex takes uh, four arguments uh, target, properties, decorators, and options. We're only gonna use the target and properties argument for this tutorial. The target is gonna be this, which is uh, refers to the class we're in, data storage. And then the second argument, which is the properties, is gonna be an object. And in this object, we will create the pro properties that we want to observe with MobX. In this case, we're just gonna observe an array so let's create an array and call it data, like that. And then let's just go ahead and export default new data storage to export this Mobex store. Then let's open up app.js. And in here, let's import the uh, data storage from um, stores slash data storage um, let's also go ahead and import the observer from mobx react so this is the observer we're gonna use on this component so we're gonna say observer app. So this means that the app will observe all changes taking place in the data storage as long as we're using a property 
like this array in the render function of the app okay so as long as we're accessing the data somewhere here we will be observing that data so when it changes this component will update which is what we want so let's just open up uh, the browser and see if we got any errors no everything looks all right yeah so let's go ahead and uh, create a new div here oh, by the way we can just do it like this uh, let's say this uh, map data and let's create a new method up here called map data uh, let's say let data equals with data storage dot data and then return data dot map and this is just a normal javascript uh, map function item and then the key so the item in this case is gonna be whatever we push to the data array inside the extended observable and here let's just return each item as a div and let's just say item just something very simple and let's just try it out let's see if we do like this yeah you can see we're getting the result in the app.js component let's remove that so now to test this out we have to create a new component in of which we can actually push some data to uh, the data storage so let's go ahead and create a new component inside the components folder uh, we can say this as uh, let's say form.js and let's just create uh, the actual component we're gonna import react component from react as well like that and then let's just say uh, sorry um, class form extends component and then we got the render function which returns something and here let's let's try it out first let's say let's create a simple div i'm going to import it to app.js so let's say import form from slash components slash form and then down here in the below the map data function in the render method of app.js let's include the form and let's just see if we get any output uh, oops we forgot to export the form yeah so let's say export default form now it should work yeah so now we're getting the form component outputted inside the app.js component which is what we want i'm just going to go ahead and change the syntax here to babel so inside these components let's just create something simple so we can push some data to the data storage and actually see the components uh, or the app.js component updating as the data storage updates from the form so let's just create an input here let's say value equals with this does state dot value we're going to create the value in just a second on uh, and on change when we change in here we're going to want to uh, on input uh, we're going to want to set the state of the value so let's say uh, this dot let's use set state and say value equals with e dot target dot value which is the value we're gonna get from the input then go up and let's create a constructor and the state so constructor let's pass in the props and we're gonna access the props by using super props and then say this dot state 
equals width and then we're gonna use value and we can set it to just empty an empty string like that to begin with so let's see if the input is working yep it seems to be working and then let's just create a default button down here and let's say on click and let's create a function that's named set data all right uh, let's see here oh, I forgot to close off the button let's see what we got now yeah so let's just add some text here as well uh, add data to data storage So now we got this input, which is setting the state of our form component. And then we, when we press date, add data to data storage, we're gonna add some data to the data storage, which is a Mobex store. So let's create a function right here, set data. And now the value we want to set is uh, this dot state of value, which is the value from the form input. And then we are simply gonna do an import of data storage so let's say import data storage from uh, let's go up one folder into stores and then data storage right so we got that oh, by the way let's follow better structure here immediately and let's do it like this instead since we're only already importing the data storage inside app.js let's pass it as a prop to the form like that so now we can access the storage via props instead which has a much better structure of doing doing it uh, that way so let's say now um, we can do it like this as well this dot data storage equals with this dot props the data storage right because we get it in data storage from app.js via props so now we, now we got the um, class property in the constructor called data storage which we can use from wherever you could use it as this does dot props dot data storage as well if you want to so now let's say this dot data storage dot data right this array dot push and what we're gonna push is the value right so let's see what we got now if we add some data here and add to data storage and as you can see we're getting the data right here test one test two so here you can see uh, the component actually updating here without using any internal states of any kind we're simply setting the data of the data storage from form the form component and this is observed in the app.js component which uh, up updates the re relevant uh, data as soon as, as uh, it is changed now just to make this a bit easier to test we can reset the value each time we hit uh, press so test and now we got an empty input test two test five so you can see it's working and yeah that's a simple way to uh, share data between components using uh, Mobex with extend observable in create react app So thank you. Bye. Bye